Hey, prepared homesteaders, it's Travis. Just got a quick video here. I'll re release a normal video this afternoon. I think it'll be uh, what it's like to homestead in the Ozarks. But this one, I'm just kind of giving you some information that may be good or not. I don't know, but I felt that it was worthy of piping in on here for just a few minutes and letting you know what I saw. Um, a a kind of reporter slash activist author whatever uh some of you probably know him well jack posobic uh, some of you like him some people love him some people hate him uh, but he usually has some pretty good intel uh, and he is reporting on twitter this morning i'll leave a little shot of his tweet that um he has a in source inside the white house and they are reporting that uh, Biden and his team are working on a speech, a lockdown speech. Uh, it's going to be kind of solemn and, you know, how, how bad it's going to be that it's, you know, basically the speech will be reminiscent of, the, you know, the 9-11 speech of after that happened. Uh, and that they're reporting that uh, it's, it's, you know, we're looking at some more serious lockdowns. Now, I can't confirm this. So don't panic and think that I'm telling y'all to go run out and buy the, everything in the stores. But um, in the last couple of weeks, and I've reported on this here, uh, that about two weeks ago or so, uh, I was contacted by a guy that worked for Kroger uh, Management and said that uh, he was being trained and training his people on uh, how to deal with disgruntled customers because they were being told that there would be some major uptick in shortages come the 1st of August. I spoke to another guy face-to-face -face that's a manager at Walmart, and he was told uh, by his superiors that they were running out of food uh, in their warehouses and so that they needed to get their stores stocked up as, as best as they could because they wasn't sure how much uh, more they would be getting in for a while and that they were expected uh, to see some major shortages come August 1st. And then here now we're we're hearing this last week, um, Biden or a few days ago, Biden did say that come Tuesday uh, there would be more restrictions being imposed. Uh, we don't know what that means. We don't know how severe it's going to be, uh, but it is possible uh, that people will will panic. There'll be some people that panic, uh, and with the already. Uh, kind of slow supply chain and, and weak supply chain uh, that could have a major effect on it. And then, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm hearing reports from, from others, not just in the grocery industry, uh, that are saying that they're being told that, you know, sometime 1st of August, middle of August, that things could start getting much, much worse. Now, again, I don't want people to panic. I don't want people to say, oh, he's telling us to go out and buy everything and tell us that it's going to get crazy. I don't know. Nothing may happen. Uh, his, his speech tomorrow may not be as bad as it's being reported. Um, things may just go on like they are and just kind of slowly deteriorate. It may not be some big, you know, something that just happens overnight, but it could. And a lot of people uh, have kind of had that gut feeling also that, that um, you know, more lockdowns are on their way. Look at what's happening all over the world. Many, many countries right now are dealing with uh, insane new restrictions and rioting. Uh, the, you know, the eviction and moratorium uh, ended a couple of days ago. And so there's going to be people that are going to be being put out of their homes. You know, what are they going to do? I, all I'm saying, I'm just piping in on here, that <clears throat> just examine it yourself. Uh, I can't tell you what to do. I can't really tell you. I don't think I can tell you in good conscience to go out and stock up on things. Uh, I have privately uh, told personal friends that it probably wouldn't be a good, a good, good, bad idea uh, today or in the morning to maybe uh, make a run to the store and and top off on some things. But <clears throat> it's very possible. Um, that over the course of the next few days that uh, things could start to kind of turn sour in some ways. Um, remember what it was like the last time, and it wasn't even like a nationwide kind of lockdown or restrictions. 
Um, you know, they have, there has been reports that, that the CDC and the Biden administration have been examining, and even Biden himself said that they're not quite sure yet and looking into whether they can impose some type of nationwide restrictions. Uh, and we know how much they respect the Constitution and how much they would never, ever do anything against it. But anyways, I just wanted to jump in on here real quick and let you know that if you guys hadn't seen it, um, take it for where you, what you want. I mean, it, it may be good, uh, legitimate uh, intel, and it may just be nothing. Uh, but it is being reported that uh, the speech tomorrow is going to be a big lockdown speech. Uh, and, and there have been reports of people kind of on the inside telling each other to stock up. Uh, there was a report last week that military officers were being told to get stocked up for their families uh, because uh, things were, were gonna start getting worse when it comes to food supplies and stuff. So I just wanted to let you know in case it's something that you want to do and that way it gives you a little bit of time to maybe run to the store today or tomorrow or something, you should be stocked up. But I know some of you uh, are maybe just getting started or there's just things that you kind of need right now. And it wouldn't hurt to have a heads up if that's where you're heading. Anyways, I will catch you guys here in a few hours with my uh, video on homesteading in the Ozarks. I'm going to touch on uh, some of the negatives and what it's like. Uh, this is kind of a, a suggestion from some of you listeners, uh, this video. All right, I'll catch you in the next video.